There's just nothing being subtracted from the x. Or actually, is there? Yes, 0 is being subtracted from the x. So this, again, opens up, and the vertex is 0, negative 3. All right, I'm just trying to show you all the different things you're going to see tonight. Because it's not all going to be perfect and in a little pretty package. I'm not understanding that part. What part? Where the second step is. This is 2 times x squared. See, normally we would have x minus h squared. Well, if nothing's being subtracted from x, then all we have is x squared. But h is understood to be in there. It's understood to be 0. Right. It's the number outside, which would be this. Okay. All right. You had a question, Ryan. I haven't divided or factored or anything. Watch. Isn't this the same thing as this? Let's put it back to you. This is 2x squared. I understand that, but. I missed, yeah. This is 2 times x squared minus 3, minus 3, okay? Is that a perfect square trinomial? No. So what's the first thing you think you might need to do? <clears throat> We're going to scoot our 4 over. Because we're going to need to add something <coughs> to complete the square, which means we're going to have to turn around and subtract it. All right, so all I've done is I've set myself up to complete the square and keep the equation balanced. I haven't really changed anything yet. It's still x squared plus 6x minus 4. So what goes in the box? Just three? Three squared. three squared, which is nine. This factors down to x, what? Plus three, Plus three squared minus 13. It opens up. What is A specifically? One. It's an understood one. So it opens up, and what's the vertex? Very good. Very good. Okay, I think the next slide I'm going to throw you a little bit. Yep. What happened? The X and the Y have switched places. Okay, well, if these types of parabolas look like this, because they're being reflected about the y-axis, these type must look like this. So you're going to say left or right now instead of up or down. So if it opens right, is it positive? Exactly. So if A is positive, now we would say it opens to the right. If A was negative, it would open to the left. Something else is going to happen, when we, but I'll, I'll, let's just complete the square. Is that a perfect square, trinomial? No. All right, so let's just set it up. Now I want you to complete it. Factor it down, get it to its final version, but don't write the vertex yet. <clears throat> Can we say negative? 
Negative what? No, just the pool. Don't worry about the sign because it's all between the Always. You're always going to be adding. When you square a negative, isn't that going to give you addition? Okay, so don't worry about that sign. It's always going to be plus. Is that what you got? No. What you got? Y plus 4 squared. Okay. <laughs> Why would I have Y minus 4 instead of Y plus 4? Because my B term is negative. When I factor this, negative 4, excuse me, this number here has to multiply by itself to give me positive 16 and add to itself to give me negative 8. Okay? Don't forget that. If this was a plus sign, this would be positive 16, positive 8. So it has to be minus. All right? Now, opens. Opens to the right this time, not up. It opens to the right, so you're going to have to be careful there. All right. The vertex is not 4, negative 22. Can somebody tell me what you think the vertex is? Negative 22, 4. Very good. All right. Nick Wags back. Explain to me your thought behind that. Well, we've switched the position of the X and the Y, haven't we? Which means that the position of the X and the Y coordinates have also switched. Here... The x coordinate of the vertex is included in this group with the letter or variable x. Now, the coordinate of the vertex is included with the letter what? Y. So when you flipped it, this is now the y coordinate. You still take the opposite sign, and this is now the x coordinate. So instead of 4, negative 22, it's negative 22, 4. Everything's flipped. Okay? So y'all have to be careful on that. <coughs> so this opens up, down, left, or right? Up. It's Y equals, so it's an up and down reflected about the y-axis. And it's not a perfect square trinomial as it is. So we're going to do two things. We're going to scoot over the 9. And what do I need to do? Factor out a 2. Okay, does everybody agree that that is still the same thing? Okay, and so now in here I have the trinomial that I want to complete the square. And you got to be careful because watch this. When I, would, when I put, what am I supposed to put here by the way? 3 squared, right? Because when you square it, it's going to become positive anyway. Okay? And I want to avoid you be, messing up with the minus signs. Shouldn't it be negative 9? Or no? Where? Minus 9. No. Oh, yeah, minus, no. Watch, because this is y. Let's put this back together. Let's distribute this too. We've got 2x squared, okay? Minus 12x, K, okay, plus 18. What have 